It was my final year, and I used to live in a shared apartment. My mates were hanging out in the night, so I was alone. I had finished my assignments and put my laptop aside when I heard my door knock. Knock at 2 a.m.? It was not normal. My mates used to have keys, and they were not supposed to return before dawn. I opened the door. It was a courier guy. He handed me an envelope, and his cell phone rang with a very strange ringtone. I asked him to stop, but he returned while attending to the phone call. It was an invitation card for a wedding ceremony of someone I didn't know, but the envelope was engraved with my name in block letters. A courier guy at 2 a.m., an unknown invitation card for me. Things were getting creepier. That guy's ringtone was stuck in my mind. Although it was scary music, I wanted to get that one, but I didn't know what its name was. I slept and attended my university the next day. The wedding was supposed to be held the next day, but I forgot about it. One week later, I found that invitation card again. When I opened the card without any true reason, I got chills. The date of the ceremony was not actually passed, but it was supposed to be held that exact day when I was checking the card again. I thought I had mistakenly read the wrong date, so I decided to attend the wedding thinking that it might be from some old friend. I got ready and took a cab to the mentioned venue. It was a strange banquet far from the city. The banquet was surrounded by dry trees and the whole area was dark, but the lights of the banquet were enlightening the whole area. Many guests were going inside the hall, so I entered the banquet too. I felt a bit strange when everybody was staring at me. Nobody was talking to anyone. They all had their cell phones in their hands. My eyes were searching for the groom and I saw him coming towards me. I had never met him. When he came closer to me, his phone rang. I got goosebumps when I heard the same ringtone the courier guy had. I apologized for not recognizing him and asked his name but he didn't say anything. Rather, he held my shoulder and directed me towards the stage. I could still feel his cold touch. While we were walking towards the stage, I heard the same ringtone again. Everybody had the same ringtone, and it felt like that scary music was echoing throughout the whole banquet. My heart was beating 10 times faster. I removed his hand from my shoulder and started running towards the exit gate. I got out of the banquet and started running on the empty road without knowing if I was going towards my city or not. I was sweating and panting badly. I still don't remember how I got home. I was shivering and got an intense fever. My mates took me to the hospital and I was there till the next day. I couldn't find that envelope in my room again and didn't hear that creepy ringtone ever again. I asked the courier company questions about that courier guy but they told me they didn't have service after 5 p.m. Also, they showed me all of their workers, but that guy was not there either. I visited the banquet with my friends, but all I could see was a doomed ancient mansion.